what's trending the homelessness crisis people who are homeless they're just like you and me they were one missed paycheck away from landing out on the streets they were doing fine and then bam they lost their job and now they live out on the streets they were doing fine and then amazon came in here amazon decided to pay their workers high wages and then bam all of a sudden rents increase and now they're living out on the streets does this sound like that they don't talk about this do they when talking about the homeless you don't hear shama sawant the socialist seattle city council member talking about the drug use and the mental illness that's happening in the homeless communities. Instead, she is singularly focused on one thing, which is rising rent. She's out there with one thing in mind, housing costs. We know what's going out on the streets. We know what's going on. We literally see it every single day. Open air drug dealing, addicts who are homeless, mentally ill who are homeless, and nothing is being done about it. to hear our voice today. Now, long-term residents are being priced out of their homes with no place else to go. <laughs> Did you ever think that you could be homeless and living out of your vehicle? No, not at all. But it can happen to anybody. 30 other people sleep overnight in their cars in this free parking lot. Nevertheless, most of them work. They are security guards, Uber drivers, secretaries, or even computer technicians. We live in a world obsessed with rich celebrities. But do you know what's even more jaw-dropping than a super rich star? A well-known rich person who loses it all and ends up homeless. From professional athletes to child stars, these rich and famous individuals all suffered terrible downfalls.
I've worked all of my life since I was a teenager. I've paid my dues, as a lot of people have. And now we're made to feel like, well, now that we've taken everything from you, we don't need you anymore, so go away. You're being displaced unless you can afford to pay that extra high rent. doing my A-levels and applying for universities. I didn't expect that I'd be on the streets, no. We're here in Traverse City. You're homeless. Yes, sir. Tell me about it. Don't recommend it to anybody. It is a very hard life to live, even when you're working. stepped in the bus so when he moved the door to take off he knocked me down I wasn't hurt yet it was when he floored the gas pedal my left leg swung across and slammed into the steel door is I'm a booster. I've been a booster for a while. I learned how to boost in downtown. Downtown boosters boost almost for sport. It's like a competitive thing. We try and flex on each other and see who can get the most.
Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more right after these words. And don't forget, tomorrow morning is your chance to win a pair of tickets to see this man live in concert. I eat, frankly, Mark, Yeah. like I was a millionaire. If I was a millionaire, I wouldn't eat any better, probably, than I do right now, because I find the food that millionaires only eat partially. wish for at the moment. I've, like I said, I have what I want, what I need on my back, and I'm enjoying not needing any more than that. In 1994, the bank was empty, and this former nba -er filed bankruptcy. It cost him his family. We're saying that uh, you don't know how to be homeless. I don't. I either have nothing, which I've had many a time, not going to close on my back, or too much stuff, which I just push around because I'm so tired to, you know, I have a few things here and there. I don't know, am I packing for a trip? Like, I'm going on vacation? Do I, you know, like, what do I, I don't know how to do this. established that the people of Kentucky were not going to assist me in my justice, so I came to D.C. You're here advocating, but in the process, it, you end up homeless. Amanda. Yes. You're homeless here in Seattle. Yes. Tell me about it. Seattle's beautiful. What do you want to know? Basically just going to protest after protest after protest and um, fighting cops actually helped us kick dope, which was really cool. What now what now? Yeah. Who we helped you kick dope? Um, fighting cops. Hopefully I'll come up again, <laughs> and maybe I'll call it a day. But if not, you know, um, I'll, 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 I'll uh, you know, I'll go out in style. <laughs>